Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my pet channel. So as I said in the last video, today's video is going to be me decorating my guinea pig enclosure for Valentine's Day. So you're seeing this on Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, I know it's just like any other regular day, but I figured it would be fun to do a themed video for the day. And the theme of this room is like kind of pink and purple anyway. So I might keep this Valentine's Day stuff up like all year round, to be honest, because it kind of just matches the theme of my room. But I wanted to do a fun video where I decorate the enclosure all cute for Valentine's Day, pinks, reds, and I'm well aware that my guinea pigs are boys. There's not colors assigned to genders anymore. It's 2021, guys, so yes, my guinea pigs are boys and they have a pink enclosure sometimes. It'd be like that. I like the color pink. So I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I bought for the enclosure first. I will have links down below for everything that I am showing you in this video. So just in case any of you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, all the links will be down below. So I am pretty excited for all of the things that I got. First, I I got some things from Walmart. I spent like the max $5 on all of these things. There's not very many, just two things. I got this Valentine's Day garland. I got it for $3.48. I was gonna go to the Dollar Tree and get a garland, but this one was just so beautiful and extra that I just needed this one when I saw it at Walmart. And like for $4, that's pretty great. It is nine feet long, which is the perfect length for my enclosure. So it's just red with some red and silver hearts all over it. So so freaking cute. And keep in mind, this is going across the bottom so the guinea pigs won't even be able to see it to reach it. And then I got this little hanging heart to put just on my little hanging area that I have. This was $2.98 and I literally just got this as decor to hang because I just feel like it will bring it all together really nicely. So yeah, I spent like about $5 on those two things. Bought them a couple weeks ago at Walmart, just had them sitting in this room waiting till now. So this next thing actually isn't really Valentine's Day themed at all really. I mean, I guess it can be, but I saw this on Amazon and I just knew I absolutely needed it. So I got a hay bag, but it is My Neighbor Totoro themed. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm gonna put this in here because it does have pink in it, but this is like a little hay bag, of course, that you fill with hay. And I wanted to get a hay bag, but when I saw this one, I knew I immediately needed to get it. So I'll put a link for it down below. It just hangs from your enclosure and then you also strap it onto the enclosure as well. So it's really sturdy and you can fill it with a lot of hay actually. So I'm pretty excited to, to decorate with that. Then I got some LED lights because I wanted lights for the enclosure anyway. I wanted ones that would change colors. So I got ones that are controlled by remotes so I can change the colors of them. So I'm going to make the colors pink or red because I wanted to do lights around the enclosure anyway to change the color for, you know, just holidays. Then I got this cute little, like, I guess strawberry bed. I got it off Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I My guinea pigs love these beds. They go in and sleep in these beds all the time. They also like to throw these beds around, but I wanted this one because it was pink. That's pretty much it. It's just really cute. Then this one is more on brand. It seems like it's more for like a rat enclosure because it has these little things that you can attach to like the top of your enclosure. If I had a second level, I would definitely hang this from like the top level to the bottom level, but I don't have a top level right now. So yeah, this has little hearts on it. It has like the symbols for like playing cards on them. So like the spades and the diamonds and everything like that. And it's just like this igloo bed. I think the guinea pigs will really like it. And if they don't use it very much, then I'll just use it for my rat enclosure because I know my rats will be obsessed with this. And lastly, of course, I got a pink guinea dad liner. As many of you guys know, I pretty much have like every single color. Well, not really. I still need green and blue, but after I get green and blue, I will have every single color that they sell. Oh, and yellow. I need that one as well. But I wanted pink, of course, because pink would just match the theme. And I got it just in time for Valentine's Day. Today is the day before Valentine's Day, and this was delivered yesterday. So I got it just in time. I'll be able to use the box as well. This box was not shipped like in the mail. It was inside of another box. So I know this one is safe from like COVID chemicals and stuff like that. And I'll be able to use this as a little hut for them as well. So of course, I got another Guinea Dad sticker. I'm gonna decorate my little hay bin with it. <laughs> that was all the stuff that I got. There are a couple of things that I already own that I might use that are pink. Like I have this little donut bed. I also have some extra pink fleece and little things like that that I'll use. So yeah, a lot of you guys got upset that I didn't actually show me cleaning my enclosure last time I decorated for Christmas. So I am going to fast forward me cleaning, completely cleaning the enclosure and making it, you know, just bare and then decorating it because you guys Guys seem to really like watching me just clean it as well. Let's go ahead and flip over to the piggies and I am going to clean their enclosure. I wish I would have bought maybe like a pink litter box, but my litter box is green and it'll kind of match the green on this strawberry. So hopefully it'll all come together really nicely.
Okay guys, here is what it looks like so far. Just on the inside, I really like that Totoro hay bag. It was kind of hard to stuff the hay in there, but I think it's really cute and I'll show you guys closer after I completely finish. But here's what it looks like. I decided to start using two Guinea Dad liners and I am going to be making this enclosure bigger in the next coming months. So using two Guinea Dad <laughs> liners is actually just a lot easier. And then I made a padding of fleece over here for the water but I'll go over ever, everything when I'm completely done, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the pickies back in here, and then I'm going to decorate the outside. Okay guys, are you ready to see the final result? Three, two, one. I'm pretty much obsessed with it and I think I'm gonna keep it like this all year round, to be honest. I made the lights red. The kit that I bought came with like two strips of lights and one of them was actually too much for this enclosure. The lights on this are awesome and keep in mind guys, these are fairy lights, LED fairy lights, so they don't get hot at all so I don't have to worry about like a fire hazard or anything like that. I can change the color with this little remote here so I can choose like purple if I want, blue, green, you know, literally any color, yellow. <laughs> But I'm gonna do red for Valentine's Day because I feel like that fits the best in this area. So let's look a little bit closer at everything. So I have the New Guinea Dad box right here. I like to prop it underneath this pocket right here so they can go underneath it. And then there's also a little window they're demonstrating for you. There's a little window so they can see, you know, through the box if they want to. I also have this. This came with a small Guinea Dad liner. It's just like a little tube and they really like running through it. So I decided to put that in there. I need to get them another chewing mat because they absolutely destroyed this one. But their chew toys right here. And keep in mind, guys they cannot reach these lights the one area where they could have reached the lights are over here and I actually taped them against the wall so they cannot reach them so don't worry about that they cannot reach any of the lights they are not tall enough to reach them and if it seems like they can reach them in any way I will be moving them so do not worry I also have tons of these like little clear things right here so they can't reach like where the chloroplast didn't quite reach. They can't even reach it because there's a barrier right there. So don't worry about them chewing anything because they won't be able to. Over here, I already had this little purple canopy. That's why it's a little dirty. As you can see, I'm gonna wash it next week, but I have this little pink bed in there. I have this fleece that I use as like a padding to catch all of the water. And I kind of change it out every other couple of days because sometimes the water leaks a little bit. We have the new little hay bag here that I am obsessed with. And as you can see, Latte is kind of demonstrating him using it. So I used less hay inside of the bin and I'm just gonna stuff it in the hay bag so they're not eating any of their wasteful hay or anything like that at least not as much as before. I do wish the bag was a little bit bigger, but I can always get a second one and have two of them if I need to, but that one holds a decent amount of hay and I'll just refill it every single day. We've got the little strawberry with a toy inside of it. We've got this one. I actually hooked it 
to the back right there so the guinea pigs can't do their fun thing where they just take their heads and they try to throw the bed across the entire enclosure. So now they can't do that, haha. -ha. Got some toys and they also have another pocket they could dig under over there. And then of course, this beautiful little heart. And don't worry guys, they cannot reach this heart at all. I made sure that they couldn't because they will definitely try. <laughs> if they um, can reach it, even the tip of it, I'll just make it a little bit taller so they cannot bite it. So that is the enclosure. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't get to get too much footage of the guinea pigs because they're deciding to hide from me while I'm trying to get some product shots here, but it's okay. They never follow the rules. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am obsessed with it. I'm going to keep it up probably all year round because I love it. And I'll just change the color of the lights whenever I want to. I think it is so cute in here. Let me turn off my studio light and see if it has a better vibe. Oh yeah, the vibe in here when the studio light is off is immaculate oh my gosh in love so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun doing it it took me i think an hour or two to do it but it was so worth it i mean i i literally am obsessed with it like i said i'll put all the links down below for everything that i bought other than the stuff from walmart of course because um unless there's stuff after valentine's day on sale at walmart i don't know if those will, those things will be in stock really but hopefully everything else will but make sure to check out all of my other social medias down below and also my Patreon where I make exclusive behind the scenes content. All of my patrons saw this enclosure before everybody else. So if you want behind the scenes content, then just head on over to Patreon. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.